body and to beat up Daniel. That seems to be enough guppos to provide the octopod with infinite ammunition. He's surprised the Merc Puff's been able to hold its breath all this time. It's just another proof of the evolutionary change caused by Toxanol's contamination. None. Being underserf has meant the Merc Puff has been left alone to munch on the root down there undisturbed. <laughs> this means the Northwest Root has suffered more damage than the others. He's sure there's enough time to confront the Merc Puff, but he worries if the world has enough years left to last his lifetime, even if you stop the World Eaters. Don't stop believing.
That was the last of them. You've sealed the fate of the tribe and the tree. It's time for the end game. You have your destiny. Follow it all the way back to out of date. He never told anyone about what's next, but he's sure it involves you. Just make sure you don't let anyone but yourself control your destiny. You've come too far for that. The tribe comes first. It's time to return to the tree one last time. Pick your path carefully by whatever you can see. Go on, catch it. He's learned you discovered and activated the last of the arcs. That's the only word that really works for it, he's sure. Just imagine how much more of the world you can see in the arc now that the world's still going to be around. The world had a far better chance before you came back here. But you had a destiny to fulfill. Questions if you could possibly have any open spaces left for fellow travelers on that ark of yours. So what we have here is someone looking for a way. I'm so glad you chose that. We're born alone. We are best being alone. The end, ma. Almost can't speak. He's so happy to be joining your voyage to conquer the skies and everything beyond. Wiz knows it's the same old, but he likes talking to you. None. The tree remains intact, but you must all make a change to save it. Malo Wishes you were more like your mother. Wouldn't be surprised if you met again. Tells you not to worry about him. He wouldn't miss the blast off. Wiz knows it's the same old, but he likes to. Wonders if you could maybe stop being so wild for a bit and let the world understand. Tells you not to worry about. Says you'll see.
Papa Mofu. Out of date says the signs of the end of the world are everywhere. It seems nature is preparing to take revenge. The day of reckoning is coming, and you are invited. He can feel you're approaching the end date. If you haven't decided whom of all like-minded, dark-souled beings you've met have earned a seat on the Ark yet, it's time to do that now. Then grasp your last chance to make sure Lupa Lupin stopped for good. The tree settled its score, but it left yours half done. He says you need to see Lupa Lupin eye to eye one last time. He's happy to help. Says talking to you was interesting. <laughs> The Sifu is seeking revenge too. He hasn't forgotten what Lupa Lupin did, but he also wants to stop him from attacking his tribe. That the world seems to survive doesn't mean he must. He hopes you agree. It suits your dark nature. There's no room for predators in the world the Myriad tribe is building. But he knows this is your fight. You should handle it. Lupa Lupin's own fear was his shackles, not the roots of the tree. It just changed him. You have a chance to stand back and let the tribe handle it. Step into the frame. 
are the odds about to change in your favor? If a friend dies, something inside you dies. You can save the Sifu by making yourself a target. You're up. Shockwaves spread when the world crumbles. This is not a prophecy, me telling you about the future. It's you shaping it. Here's a vulgar display of power. The stronger he becomes.
time you remember who the real enemy is and stop playing the game his way. This is how it ends. The predator and the world itself suffering. But at least it's a sign they're both still alive. So what we have here is a clear matter of life and death. And only you can make a difference. glad you chose that. Just leave him be and let nature have its way. It's what I always wished for, that you just leave and let me be. You know you couldn't do without me. I complete you. The better side of two halves. We must coexist to have balance, even though we are opposites. Well, I guess you have a point. Leaving the predator be can be right too. Let life have its way. The weak can't forgive. Forgiveness is a strength. It's not all life and death. It's no better time than now to accept a helping hand. Do you wonder what turn life might have taken if you'd done things different? A left when you went right? A yes when you said no? You've walked the thin line between survival and disaster and haven't lost your balance yet. It's because of you the tree of life and the world has been given a second chance. You carried the light in a world full of dark and made a difference in a place that needed change. You allied with the Myriad tribe and acted on understanding of the greater good and a code of honor. However, light and dark does simply represent the polarities of life. One can't exist without the other. This isn't the end. Just being surrounded by nature as it heals itself will rejuvenate us. Nature will teach us how to survive. So, trust your conscience to show you the way, and everything else will follow. He knows things that you need to know. Shines on about how the jack has plenty to do. He knows things that you says you'll.
As foretold, you were destined to split the chains of this world. But you're not alone. Those that shared your perspective and gained your trust will accompany you on your journey. Is there a world out there that's better suited for those imbalanced in their dark nature than this one? Whether or not, we'll leave your story on record, so those who come after will know you helped save the world, despite your dark nature. So, when all is said and done, it turned out to be an unusual ending after all. What could be better than ending the story the right way? Ending it your way, a beginning of something new.